Well today, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of guitars that have been released in the past five or six hours. We got some from Harley Benton and Epiphone. Let's get into it. Rube! You're on camera again. Say hi. So what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. That's Ruby, <laughs> and we are, well, I'm a guitar player, and she's a cat here on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, I'm just excited, man, to dive on into some new models. It seems like every single day anymore, some guitar company is just releasing something awesome for us to check out, and Harley Benton and Epiphone are in the shoot today, so without further ado, let's dive on in. So, let's check out Harley Benton first, as that is kind of more of a metal brand, I would say, compared to Epiphone, generally speaking. They have some brand new fusion guitars. Now they have one, two, three, four, five, six brand new guitars. And these guitars are like the guitars of 2021. I've said it in several other videos, but it just seems like every single brand out there has made some, some iteration of this guitar. HSS, kind of super strat, kind of fusion, you know, Aaron from Intervals type of guitar. You know what I mean? And that's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just um, interesting to see how, you know, that's kind of the style and the... Uh, the, the way, you know, the fad, I guess we'll, we'll call it, the way guitar players are choosing to, you know, spec out their guitars, what have you. Anyway, man, that's just, uh, you know, a cool little thing to see how, you know, guitars are transforming. You know, gone are the days of seven eights and nine strings. Now we're moving on to fusion style guitars, at least in my opinion. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's check out this awesome sparkle pink guitar, man. Now this to me looks like a purple. But, uh, you know, I always say it every single week, man. Purple and or pink don't get enough love. I think purple's awesome. Yeah, that's a cool guitar, man. It's like something Prince would play or something like that, right? Um, you know, one thing that's crazy, you know, we all know about Harley Benton guitars, man. But just they spec out their guitars, like, insanely, man. And for the price point, you know, we'll see. But for the price point, these things are, are always really, really affordable. I mean, that's a gorgeous guitar, man. Look at that. <laughs> That looks so cool, man. It looks a bit much. You know, somebody might call that, you know, gaudy, but, uh, you know, I don't care. It's purple slash pink. I think it's cool. Drum roll, please. Let's check out the price. $391. Not bad, man. You know, like Harley Benton, let's read up on the specs, shall we? Body. S uh, oh God, here we go. Sep, sep, sepel, sep, sepele, antan, antandro, fragnama. S sil silin <laughs> cylindricum. <laughs> so that's what the body's made out of. Ah, neck. Roasted Canadian flame hard maple. There we go. I can uh, I can pronounce that one barely. Neck mount bolt on modern C neck profile. 22 medium jumbo blacksmith stainless steel frets. I don't know what blacksmith means, but that sounds cool to me, right? Cool guitar, man. Trust right at the heel right here. Is that a hip shot? One second. Yeah, yeah. Hip shot style hardtail bridge. So I don't know if that's a hip shot or hip shot style. I don't know what that means. It looks like a hip shot. But anyway, man, cool guitar. Now we also got a shell pink. I like this one here. Same price, $391. So um, this one obviously has a whammy bar of sorts. So if that's your thing, go for it, right? I would prefer the hardtail as you guys know me pretty well, I think by now. And we also have one in blue. What is this? Gray or sea foam? Uh, that's like a, like a off bluish gray. Thought maybe it would be sea foam or something like that. Next up, we have a more pink guitar, we'll call it. It says Roasted DP. Um, I don't know what the color they're calling this, but it's a more pink, a dark pink, we'll call it. And then they also have a hardtail here as well. So they're available immediately, and for 400 bucks, just under 400 bucks, you can get a stainless steel fret guitar and just a rather specked out guitar. Roasted maple neck, I mean. For 400 bucks, you can't beat that. But now let's check out, dare I say, the bigger news story, the Joe Bonamassa Lazarus Epiphone Les Paul. Now, 900 bucks. Now, upon reading up on this thing before making this video, it seems like it's pretty specked out for being an Epiphone. Featuring a one-piece mahogany neck, mahogany body with a maple cap topped with a wide grain uh, quad A flame maple veneer outfitted with Gibson Burst Barker pickups and 50s wiring style with CTS pots. So, 900 bucks, very specked out. I saw, um, I don't even know where I saw it, maybe on the YouTube video, the promo video, um, people are saying like, this is the same price point as the Slash guitar, um, but the Slash guitar doesn't have Gibson USA pickups. So, um, you know, the Joe Bonamassa has that premium of a pickup upgrade for the same amount of money as the Slash guitar. So that's cool. And personally, I think this guitar is cooler than the Slash. 
um, or the Slash models, whatever. I think, you know, this is a really gorgeous guitar, man. This That veneer is really insane. So I think what's going on here is they have, like, a plain maple top, and then they put the crazy veneer on top. That'd be my guess. But regardless, man, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous Les Paul right there. And shout out Joe Bonamassa. He literally gets a signature guitar, it seems like, every single year from Gibson and or Epiphone. I mean, just last year, we got the three pickup Black Beauty. Now we have the 1959 Lazarus that just stumbled into his life. We got, we, as guitar players, all know that story, right? But um, yeah, man, just gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. Now, when I pick up this guitar, no, as I'm really not into signature models anymore, I'm trying to do my own thing more and more. But regardless, man, this is a really cool guitar. And I'm just stoked for Joe, Epiphone, and anybody who wants this guitar, you know, congrats on you know, buying this thing in advance, I guess. So I guess that's gonna do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick video, man, just to showcase some of the new stories, some of the new guitars. What do you guys think of what's out from Harley Benton and Epiphone? Leave your thoughts down below, and I'll meet you down below in the comments, and we'll mix it up, all right? Lastly, if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I am out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.